I'm wondering where you think we stand with respect to getting there. You know, there are things like MOOCDB and DataShop and uh, DataBrary and uh, uh, Zach Pardos's system. I forget what it's called. What what do you do? You think we need to get all of those together? Uh, what do we need to do to go from where we are to where we need to be? Yeah, that's a that's a terrific question. I was actually going to drop in a LearnSphere reference earlier as well. So uh, I sorry I missed your talk, Ken. Hope it was recorded so I can catch it later. But uh, so yeah, you're you're absolutely right. I mean, there there's a number of bits and pieces and projects coming in, and that, that was sort of the reference I briefly had to what what's happened in the past around learning management systems, where you have all these bits and pieces, and uh, everyone was sort of creating uh, their own functionality, but they're not creating them in a way to amplify the activity of others because we haven't made those simple linkages. Uh, you may be, well, I'm sure you are, Ken, familiar with Caddy Borner, uh, who's done a lot of work in mapping science. And so I've been working with her probably about five, six months now to look at an NSF grant that looks at specifically this, uh, open learning analytics, because she's done some large scale work around the visualization and the development of, of these integrated multifaceted uh, types of projects. Certainly be interested in connecting uh, with, uh, with you and your team at CMU. Uh, they, I think there's some interesting implications with, with uh, LearnSphere that, that could be of particular use to, to open learning analytics, and, and I would hope open learning analytics back to you. So uh, that's short answer is I would love to see more collaboration between researchers that are doing bits and pieces. I think as researchers, there's always the difficulty that you partly identify your reputation by the projects that you lead. And uh, sometimes that we don't have the right incentives built in into actively sharing and collaborating. But so that's why, as I mentioned, with the initiative, with the, the NSF grant working on with Caddy Borner, that I'd love to connect with you and your team on Ken. Uh, that's one potential approach. And the other one is, is uh, I don't know, maybe it's just about trying to get a group of people together that are working at bits and pieces of this and uh, just spend some time, uh, whether it's online or otherwise, uh, figuring out how can we put hooks that allow our work to be more relevant to others in the network. Is John, whereas John Mitchell said this morning something I thought was really good along those li along these lines is we should be better communicating what what our goals are with respect to building stuff to add to the open source community so that you know where we can be leveraging and not you know oh I got to build A before I do B oh wait somebody's already doing A I don't have to right if we knew better where what who was doing what that'd be great yeah that's what these meetings yeah, are for. <laughs> Anyway, so, so sorry I missed the being there in person, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of, uh, rest of the event, and sorry I have to bail and get to my meeting. Thank you ever so much, George.